This is Keith McGowan, the Outboard Dad, here to help you have a better boating experience. We're continuing on with our 150 horse Hope to Rebuild. That's what I should call it now because we're still evaluating. So we got the bolts out of the top cap last time. Please like, subscribe, send me any comments that you have. And now we're going to take the bolts out of the bottom bearing carrier cap. Take the bolts, the main bolts that have to be torqued when we put it back together, the main bolts out and split this case. Now there's no gasket between these cases. It's just you use some, where is it here? Uh, I've usually bought it in uh, OMC product. Um, basically it's Loctite, um, but it's like a gel, right? So it's, it's the red gel Loctite. Looks like I don't have any here, probably because if it sits too long on my shelf, it hardens and goes bad. But the Loctite goes on there. We're gonna show you how to do that if we can do a rebuild. So don't expect to see gaskets in here because that's not, it's a very, very fine machined casing. So a gasket would bring it out further in an indeterminate amount out, right? So it's not like a, a different style motor. So let's get the bottom bearing carrier off. Let's split this case and see what it looks like inside. So now we've got our mains. We're gonna have to get in there and crack those loose. And we'll get this apart. Noticing I need to take my starter motor off. I haven't done that yet. We'll just crack these loose first. Now the connecting rods, we have to use a 12 point socket on because it's a 12 point head. All right, so let's take the starter motor off. Motor. Now this block is pretty much undressed. Please. So now we rip the rest of these or zip the rest of these bolts out. And we'll get our mallet over here, rubber mallet. So I don't want it to go too crazy. I just want to tap it around and I want to tap it in different locations. I don't want to bring it up cockeyed, right? So there's, as I said, there's O-rings around these caps. So we just split that and the top seem to come loose as well. So I want to work it back and forth here. Okay. So it's a good thing I was taking my time because what we needed to do is we needed to crank the crank over a little bit. And I had forgotten that we have to pull our gear out first. So we don't want to damage that, right? Looks in good shape. Put that aside as well. And now our Crankcase should split without too much trouble. Maybe a hose or two is still attached. So the bleed lines. Now we can look the look and inspect the inside of this, especially those two center cylinders. Looks pretty good. We'll put this nice clean area here. Now we can take a look. We can see our gear here is in excellent condition. So we didn't have any oil pump issues. Make sure I didn't mar it up just now taking it apart. Looks to be completely intact. So I'm gonna grab my crankshaft now and just rock it back and forth. See if I hear any loose rods. We'll have to check the clearance on this one with our micrometer. Not sure if it's really loose or not, but looking at the block itself, I don't see any holes down through to the other cylinders. So now we can go ahead and remove our rods one by one and we're gonna tape them off. I'm gonna clean up a little spot on the workbench here, get rid of some of these tools and we're gonna take them out one by one and inspect them. Okay, so I've got a nice clean surface here. Just an old shirt <laughs> that my wife doesn't want me wearing anymore. So now I can take these out one by one. I'm gonna tilt the block just one way. I'll tilt it back and we'll do the, let's see. This is the 
starboard side. So we'll do the starboard side first. We'll loosen these up and bring them out one by one. So first we got to get the right socket for that, which I should have right here. This is actually an eight millimeter socket. Put it on my extension, make it a little easier. And we're gonna crack these loose. So it's an eight millimeter, 12 point socket, if you look closely. So that's what you need. I'll show you one of the bolts when we take it out so you can see. It's all hardened steel. Sometimes you can reuse these. Sometimes they recommend you do not, but we're gonna be very careful. So I'll show you just the top of this one so you can see what it looks like. And I'm gonna put it right back in its place because I want everything going back where it was. I'll go ahead and crank this over a little bit. Loosen the other one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna be very careful with these bearings and these caps. I want them to go on, they have to go on the same exact way that they came off. So I'm gonna take this cap and I'm gonna hold it, same position, put it right over here on my clean spot. I'm gonna take the upper bearing, I'm gonna put it in the same position over here. And then I'm, before I take the piston out, I'm gonna rotate the lower bearing around in my fingers here and put it in the same exact place. It's not really upper or lower, but it's just the way I'm defining it right now. So we'll go ahead and push this piston out. I believe this was one of the good ones. I want to be careful I'm not scoring up the cylinder wall. I don't want to force it out and scratch the cylinder wall. I want to take it out nice and easy. And as you said, I'm, I'm holding this exactly the same way. I don't want to turn this, right, because I want to put my cap back on the same exact way it came off. So as to not take a chance, again, I take my bearing, put it in there. I'm going to take my upper bearing and put it on there. And then I'm going to take my cap and put it on the same exact way that it came off. I'm gonna crank these down just by hand. Now these are not drilled, but they are broken when they snap them. The Yamaha ones they drill and the Ever Johnson Everodes they drill, probably because they copied them. So now I'm gonna leave this in this position. I'm gonna wrap tape around it. I'm gonna label this starboard side top. Now there's an S on the piston, so I know it's starboard side, but I wanna make sure this goes back in the same crank in the same place it came out of. I'm going to do this with each one. So let's get this labeled and then we'll take a look at the piston a little closer. I know everybody's anxious to see what the piston and rings look like. I am as well, but I more importantly want to make sure that this goes in the same way it came out and is labeled properly. So I already put top on here and I'm just going to put starboard side. I put star and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark which side of it was the top of the piston right? So I don't turn it the opposite way when I put it back in. The piston has to ma match up only if I'm reusing the piston. It has top, has up on the piston. But I want to make sure I might change that piston if the piston is no good or if the rings uh, got into the piston wall itself and screwed it up. So again, it's I'm going to label this so it goes back in the same exact way it came out. So all I'm going to do here is Strip off some of my painter's tape. It is oily, so of course you have to stick the tape to itself. It's not going to stick to the to the surface here. And now I've got it labeled, and then I'm going to put over here on this side which one was the top. So I'm just going to put a T here, knowing that that's the top of the motor. So now that we have it labeled, and we know the bearing's not going to fall off, and we have it exactly where it needs to go, now we can kind of inspect a little further and take a look at this piston. And we can see it's in really good condition. Oops, top part scored up. This one's gonna have to be replaced. So it's interesting how we had good compression on this still, but this, is, this piston's no good. You see where it says up here? I'm not sure if you can see that with the darkness. And it says S on it because this is a starboard side. So this piston's gonna be replaced. So we're gonna go through these one by one and get them all labeled. So we're gonna continue on with this project that motor that we're working on here in our next episode. And we're gonna have some fun finding out 
the extent of this damage. So stay tuned to the next episode. Please like, subscribe, send me any comments, and look forward to seeing that used outboard motor buying guide that I'm going to put out very soon. Have a great day.